Okay, so today we're going to fix the toilet. Um, I'm having problems with this. It's got a very, very slow fill. So we're going to just check what's going on inside here. This is a... Let me unscrew this button. So, and that will come out. So when we flush, you can see that that is not filling up at all. It takes hours to fill up. So we're going to fix this. And here is a wee um, rubber gasket that we're going to replace. I think that should solve the problem. So first thing we do is switch the water off. And this the valve. Just so it's straight across. Right, so make sure your water's cut off. Eh? Yeah, otherwise you'll be in trouble. So now I'm going to go in here and take this off. It doesn't usually come off as easily as that. It's usually quite tight, but I'm lucky with that. Pull that out gently, and you can see this we get this rubber needs replaced. So let me just take this off, and just inspect this. Oh, see that? It's split there, so it's probably what's causing the problem. Here's a new one. Let's inspect it before we put it in. Okay. That looks good. So, let's so wait to put this in. This wee line marks up this wee space. You see that? So make sure that line marries up with the space. Put it over. It just stops it turning round, and then, so then make sure that's in, and then we've got to put that in. Now this is a tricky part, that's got to go back to where it's supposed to be, and you've got to get that on and screw it. When I say tricky, it's, it's not crazy, but it can be a bit of a nuisance. So, if you look at that there, there's a little notch. I don't know if you can see that. There's a notch right there. And that notch marries up with this wee nook there. So you put them both together. Again, it stops it turning round and it also and it also ensures that you're getting a good seal. So put that on like that just to let you see. You see that? It just clicks in like that, and that's us. So, yeah. So you put them. And you see that marries up. Now the only problem is, you've got to get that on. Okay, so, take that off. Put that on there, in between those two flat bits here, yeah, and that's us. that round the other way. So I've got to have that round like that which makes it difficult to see the wee notch. Okay so there's a notch at the top here's the bit that goes on so we've got to get all three of them in the right position. I'm going to put that one first down there. I'm going to put this bring this up to it quite hard to do it with one hand and I don't know if you can see but the notch in the wee bit for it to go into is lined up so that's us I'm just making sure that's that's in we're giving it a light twist and then we'll just slowly tighten that up 
Basically, it's just hand tight, really. That shouldn't be a problem as long as that's tight. Now, the moment of truth. I'm going to go back down under here so it should be straight up and down when it's open. Cross when it's closed. And that sounds good. So it's going to fill. Okay. You can see. The water's going in at a good rate. And that's it, that's how you fix your inlet valve if you're having problems with this. It's usually this wee rubber gasket that's giving you the problems with one of these things. They cost about uh, two or three pounds, which is actually seems quite expensive for what it is, but two or three pounds and you'll have your toilet fixed. <laughs> So it's going from about, it must have been taking half an hour to fill up this system. It's going from about half an hour to about 30 seconds. So it's working again. So all you need to do then is put the lid back on. That we put there. This wee notch marries with that wee notch. So just put it in like that. That's it. First thing we need to do though is put this on. Look for your notch, come at the end of your notch, and then it goes. Let's screw this in. Should do it. Yeah. 